What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to add slope to our roof slab. So as you can see, our roof slab here is flat. So we are going to add the slope here to allow for the roof drainage. Okay? And then after that, I'm also going to show you how to create another layer on your roof slab. Okay? So let's do this. So the first thing that we will be doing, since we want to edit our floor slab here, so I'm going to select the floor slab. So just click that one. And then after that, you can see here shape editing. So we are going to add split line. So it adds linear edges for reshaping the selected roof, floor, and toposolid geometry. So I'm going to select this tool. And then after that, I'm going to pick here. Pick that one. And then I'm going to pick another point here. So I'm just going to create a slope, uh, sloping slab on this area here. So for your exercise, so maybe you can do that to this area here. Okay. So after you create your uh, split line, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select here, modify sub elements. So it manipulates uh, points or maybe before we do the manipulation or modifying the sub elements, I'm going to add first a point Okay, so it adds reshaping points Selected uh, to selected roof floor and toposolid geometry So we are going to modify our point here after we place it So I'm going to select that one and then make sure that your elevation base here is set to current level Okay, so I'm going to select current level and then after that, so I'm just going to place it somewhere here. So the placement of your point is not critical to this exercise. So this point will going to be the location of our uh, roof drainage, for example. So I'm going to pick here. There you go. So that's my point. And then after that, I'm going to select here, modify sub elements. So I'm going to select that one. And then after that, I'm going to hover my pointer to this side here. And then I'm going to press tab. Until you see here, here on our uh, options bar or status bar. So hover pointer tab and then you can see there on your uh, status bar chain of walls or lines. Here, look here. So I'm going to hover my pointer and then I'm going to press tab. And then on my status bar, it says chain of walls or tab or lines. Okay, so again modify sub elements and then hover your pointer to the side do not click yet and then press tab once and then you will see chain of walls or lines so once you see that you can click now all right and then after that you can now specify the elevation so what i'm going to do is i'm going to specify here six inches for the elevation so six and then inches symbol and then after that enter there you go. So there's now your uh, sloping uh, roof slab. So I'm going to select here modify and there you go. Okay. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open my roof floor plan. So let's open up this one and then I'm going to create a section. So maybe I'm going to create a section here. Okay, so to create a section, just go to your options bar or to your quick access toolbar and then click section and then I'm going to pick the first point here and then I'm going to pick the second point here. So that's my section. And then after that, I'm going to select modify. Now I'm going to double click the head here to open up the section that I just created. Okay, so I'm going to click this level and then I'm just going to drag this just to tidy up my view okay and there you go so this is now uh, the roof that we have uh, modified so as you can see there's now a slope here so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add another layer for my roof okay so I'm going to modify it so I'm going to select the roof so this is how you modify so select the roof and then I'm going to select your edit type Okay, I'm going to duplicate this. Why? Because I want to create a new type of roof. So duplicate and then I'm going to specify the name uh, concrete. Oops. So concrete 
deck tapered insulation all right so that's the name of the new uh, floor that I'm going to create so select ok there you go and then after that I'm going to modify the structure okay so I'm going to select your edit by the way the current thickness of my floor slab here is 8 inches so I'm going to modify that I'm going to select edit and then as you can see I only have one layer here right so I'm going to click layer number one there and then I'm going to uh, I'm going to add a new layer insert okay so the function is still structure but for the material, I'm going to change this one. I'm going to click this button here to open up the material browser. And then after that, I'm going to use insulation thermal barriers rigid insulation material. Okay, so you can type here to search. In my case, it's already set up. So I just select that one and then I'll select here OK. There you go. And then after that, I'm going to specify the thickness. Let's say uh, 2 inches. And then you see the variable here. I'm going to check that one. So what will happen is my layer one here will become sloping. And then the other layer here, which is my layer number three, will just get uh, like straight. It's not sloping. Okay. So that's why I checked the variable here. So I'm going to select here. Okay. And then I'm going to select here. Okay. There you go. So as you can see. This area here is straight, but this portion here on the top is sloping. Now, for me to be able to see the material, I'm going to change here the detail level. So currently, it's set to coarse. I'm going to change that to fine. Just click that, and there you go. So you see there's now the material. Now, I'm going to show you the difference if I'm not going to check the variable. So I'm going to select the roof again or the floor slab. I'm going to edit the type and then I'm going to select your edit. So this time I'm going to uncheck variable and then I'm going to select your OK. And this is now how it looks like. OK again. There you go. See, as you can see, there's slope on both layer, right? So if I do not want to have both layer to be sloped, so I'm going to select that, edit type, edit structure, check the variable, and then I'll select your OK. And then OK again. There you go. And then modify. All right. So this is my 3D view. So I'm going to select here tile views. So there you go. So there's my 3D view. So there's my floor plan. And then there's my section. OK, with the new layer. So there's the slope, the one in 3D view. And then here's my new layer that I have added to my floor slab. Alright, so that's it for this uh, simple exercise. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.